Good morning, Rangers. I'm Liam Weeks. And I'm Gwen Shallon. And this is the Ranger Report, here with your daily announcements. Attention Academic UIL members, if you want to attend the upcoming academic meet in Bandera on December 3rd, you need to speak with your coach or Miss Sellers in A202 before you leave for Thanksgiving break on November 18th. Today, Ballroom Club will be having an instructor from C&C &C Ballroom come teach the East Coast Swing. The meeting will be in the Senior Dining Hall from 415 to 515. Everybody is welcome. This week, donate socks and blankets in Fashion Club in C114 to help the homeless stay warm this season. You can also receive service hours. After Thanksgiving break, please plan to participate in Barrett's Bears. Barrett Harjo, a fifth grade student at Timberwood Park Elementary, passed away two years ago from complications of pneumonia. In his memory, we are collecting new stuffed animals to be delivered to the Children's Hospital. Please bring new stuffed animals to Coach Castleberry's room, B218, or Miss Niles' room, C106. Thank you for your help. The library will be closed today for B and C lunch and will also be closed tomorrow for only B lunch. Make sure to plan around this and be sure you have a place to go or hang out. It's that time again for our Thanksgiving meal, and all the fixings will be served tomorrow in the main cafeteria, so we hope to see everyone there. All staff will have their own line to grab their meals and a to-go plate if needed. And now over to Emily with the world news. Thanks, Gwen. France's far-right National Front Party leader, Maureen Lee Pin, says the election of Donald Trump shows that people are taking their future back, telling France to do the same. Lee Pin says his victory helps her chances of winning, because it makes the French realize that what the people want, they can get. Just like Trump's Make America Great Again slogan, Lee Prim promises to bring back France's glory days. Many teenage girls have designed their own clothes or shoes, but what about space satellites? They may be teenagers, but 17-year-old Brittany Bull and 16-year-old Sisa Mingguanzi have one goal, to launch Africa's first private satellite into space. Once in space, the satellite will collect information on agriculture and food security in Africa. The satellite is scheduled to launch in May of 2017. Now to Levi with sports. Football takes on Lake Travis Cavaliers on Friday. Kickoff is at 7.30 p.m. The game will be held in Bobcat Stadium in San Marcos, Texas. Pre-sale general admission tickets will be sold at SVHS Fieldhouse from 8 a.m. to 4.30 on Thursday and from 8 to 1 p.m. on Friday. Adult tickets are $8, student tickets are 4 All tickets at the gate will be $9. Smithson Valley will be the visiting team, which means we will be sitting on the east side of the stadium. Anyone interested in trying out for the soccer teams must have prior approval. Girls, see Coach Adkins and B203. Boys, see Coach Jarrett and B205. Tryouts will begin on Monday after Thanksgiving at 6.45 a.m. The wrestling team starts its season November 18th through 19th in the Capital Classic at Delco Center. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Levi. So, Gwen, what do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? <laughs> well, I'm Liam Weeks. And I'm Gwen Shallon. And this has been your Ranger Report here with the daily announcements. Have a Rangerific day.